How's it going guys? Boot jumps all packed up, ready to go. We're gonna head out of England tonight. I'm gonna drive towards the Welsh border and we're gonna try and find ourselves somewhere to park up for the night. Maybe near the town so we can go for our dinner at a pub or something like that. We've spied a couple of interesting spaces down Carnarvon way so we're gonna drive down there now. We'll see what we can find and hopefully we find a nice spot to park up for the night. So we just arrived, got ourselves a nice little spot just on the beach and we've got Carnarvon Castle just over there. How's that for a spot? It's pretty good I think. What are we doing then? Gonna go for a pint? Yeah. One there. Just over there there's a little pub called the Anglesey Arms and we're just gonna get a beer and hopefully be able to get a plate of chips or some food or something. If not we'll be able to cook in the van. Nice spot. Now let's see if we can get ourselves some food. Cheers. How's the, uh, how's the Bombay Sapphire? Nice, you know. We walked over to the pub and we had, we had a bite to eat in the pub just to keep us going. And we were about to order more drinks and then, so we suddenly realised to ourselves why are we paying £10 for a round of drinks when we've got drinks here already. So we've just walked back over to the car and we're just going to have a couple of light ones and then probably have a coffee or something like that and just retire, wait for the sun to go down. I'm not exactly sure what the parking arrangements are here. So it looks to me like we can park overnight. There are no signs anywhere saying that we can't. We're not on double yellow lines, we're not on a main road, but we're basically on a side street. I don't see any problem with parking overnight to be honest, but we'll soon find out later. Maybe we'll get a knock, I don't think we will. So a couple of you guys asked me how I find my overnight parking spots. I'm going to do a video later on this week that'll explain how I find overnight parking spots. So if it's of interest to you guys, let me know in the comments and I'll put together a little video explaining how to find good overnight parking spots. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Lovely. Shipyard IPA. I just grabbed this out the supermarket. It's nice. Watching the sun go down. Cheers. Cheers. Right, shall we uh, set up for bed? Yep. This morning I thought, seeing as we're going on a bit of a trip, I'll wash the car and look at this. Seagull crap all over it there. Seagull crap all over it there. And there's, I can't quite get up there, but. There's a load of seagull crap on the roof. I should have remembered we were coming to the seaside and we were going to get crapped all over. Ready for bed. Car's into bed mode now so we can just sneak in later. We might go for a little romantic evening walk and then just turn in. Are we going for a romantic evening walk? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, should we just should we just go straight to bed? <laughs> straight to bed? Yeah, okay. <laughs> go on, going straight to bed apparently. The great thing about these blackout blinds is you can't even see that they're on the car at all. They're exactly matched to the colour of the car paintwork, so if you look at that, it's impossible to see if there's anything on there. You can't see in at all, but not only can you not see in, you can't tell that anybody's in there either. One of the things we do with this is we black out all the rear windows. 
but we don't black out the front windows or the windscreen we do have black out blinds for the front windows and the windscreen but if we were to put those up it's a dead giveaway that someone's sleeping in the car or someone's trying to convert it into a stealth camper the way we've got the car set up because we've only got the back of it blacked out it's impossible to know that there's anybody in it and that's the whole idea of a stealth camper if you walk past the car and all its windows are blacked out and it has shields in all of the windows it's a pretty it's a pretty good bet that someone's going to be camping in the car what happens with this is people walk past it and it just looks like a vehicle parked up so they just completely ignore it and discount it and they have no idea that anybody's camped out in the back of this which is perfect for us it's not a bad view though is it cheers We're just going for a little walk down the castle to freshen up and then we'll probably head to bed. So we've just done our castle walk and we're just bedding down for the night. Just going to kill the lights and uh, go to sleep. Good night folks, see you in the morning. Oh, what time is it? Um, just gone 20 past 7. Oh, well, get on the road shortly then. Yep. For a view. Fantastic. Some guy walking past, no idea anyone's sleeping in it. There's our castle in the background. Absolutely fantastic. What a spot this is. So we had a really good sleep last night. The way cars driving past in the middle of the night. To be honest, once you get used to a couple of cars coming past, it doesn't bother you at all. Oh, so looking up front. Right. So we're going to head to our next destination in a minute. Um, we're not far from Ogman Valley, so we're going to climb Trivan today. We're going to drive down there in a minute, park up, and we'll get a breakfast going on the cooking facilities, hopefully. Fantastic. Look at this for a spot. It's just fantastic, isn't it? Let's get on the way. and we'll just leave all we'll just leave everything in place because it's just easier than taking it out and it also means if we do decide to stop another night the car's already in stealth mode so we've left the bed in as you can see so just draw the curtains and nobody knows what's going on there fantastic little setup We've stopped again for the day. We're just parked on the A5 under Trivan, which is this mountain just behind me, and we're going to climb this today. What we're going to do now is get a little bit of breakfast and then just uh, relax by this lake, basically. Look at that. Great, isn't it? What a lovely spot. Fantastic. Let's get the recce on the go then.